the equal equilibrium exponent tells us the ratio of the concentrations or pressures of reactants and products at equilibrium. If we're not at equilibrium, instead of a K, we use a Q, we call this the reaction quotient. If the reaction quotient is equal to K, we are at equilibrium. If it's less than K, we don't have enough products yet. So the reaction is going to shift toward products. And if the reaction quotient is greater than K, we have too many products, we're going to consume those products and shift toward reactants. So the system's always moving toward equilibrium. And we can use this reaction quotient to allow us to identify what direction equilibrium is, what direction the reaction is going to shift. So if you have a problem, uh, two NOs decomposing to form N2 and O2, we have a Kp of 2.4 times into the third. We have a 0.015 atmospheres for uh, the nitric oxide, 0.13 atmospheres for nitrogen, and 2.2 for oxygen. Are we at equilibrium? And if not, what direction will the reaction shift? So we set up our equilibrium expression, but we set it equal to Q. We don't know if it's at equilibrium. We put in our pressures, reduce it down. We see that's uh, 1,271 compared to our 2,400 for the equilibrium constant. We're less than, so the reaction quotient is less than. We need to produce more products. So the reaction is going to shift to products, or we can say it's going to shift right. Let's switch to boards here and do a couple more problems. Let's see how I centered. Okay, so another one um, charcoal reacting with carbon dioxide gas to form carbon monoxide. We have a Kc of 0.01. 7.3, we have one mold each in an eight liter container. So this is a more of a challenge question because we have a solid here. If you go ahead and turn this into a concentration and use it, you'll get the wrong answer. So in our expression, it's going to be products of carbon monoxide squared. We can put one in for the solid, then the carbon dioxide, the one of course disappears. So we need our carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So we take our moles divided by the volume in liters, and we get our concentration of 0.125 for both of them. You put them into the expression, and your answer comes out to be 0.125. This is less than the Kc of 0.173, so our reaction have to shift right, shift toward the products. One more problem, we have a N2O4, which um, decomposes into two NO2s. It has a Kp of 4 times 10 minus 14 at some unspecified temperature. We have 2.25 atmospheres of N2O4, 1.05 atmospheres of NO2. So we'll ask, is this at equilibrium? And if not, what direction will it shift? So we write the Expression NO2 squared uh, over N2O4. We have a Kp, so we're using pressures. We put in the values, get our answer of 0.49 for our reaction quotient. This is much larger than the uh, 0 0.0004 uh, for the Kp. So we have too much product, so we're going to have to shift left or shift to the reactant. 